The series begins with a nice woman named Jung Sihun. At that time, she likes a guy and wants to tell him she loves him with a letter. But when she sees another woman talking to him, she feels really sad and drinks a lot. Meanwhile, there's a guy named Changmu. He's at the beach enjoying the waves and ignores his ringing phone. Soon after, Si Hun shows up drunk, thinking Chang Mu to someone else. There, she confesses her feelings to him and even kisses him, asking him not to leave. A year later, Si Hun was live streaming, reviewing a super yummy cake. It turned out the cake was from a restaurant called Saul, owned by Chang Mu. She thought Chang Mu made the cake. In another scene, Chang Mu and his friends are getting ready to open their restaurant. Soon after, Si Hun shows up, impressed by all the customers and the cakes, selling like crazy. At that time, she orders a cake too. When Chang Mu sees her, he remembers what happened a year ago. While Si Hun is enjoying the cake and sharing about it online, Chang Mu comes up to her. He's curious if she remembers what happened before. But she doesn't remember anything. Chang Mu's attitude annoys Si Hun, so her review of his restaurant ends up being really bad. Back at home, Chang Mu remembers the time a year ago when he helped Si Hun, who was drunk, and she gave him a necklace. Meanwhile, Si Hun is on a video call with her older sister, talking about investigating Chang Mu. At that time, she also misses her nephew, Ru Ru. The next day, Si Hun keeps following Chang Mu until he catches her. She was trying to find out how Chang Mu started making the girl under the mooncake, because she's really curious about it. But Chang Mu takes away her assessment paper. The following day, Si Hun meets Chang Yu, Chang Mu's older sister. They talk about how to interview Chang Mu because his restaurant Seoul is really popular online for its yummy food. If Si Hun can interview Chang Mu about how he came up with the girl under the mooncake, it will not only promote Seoul but also make good content with high ratings. So Chang Yu also supported Si Hun's plan. Later on, Si Hun went back to Seoul's restaurant. This time, she wasn't there to eat cake but to interview Chang Mu. After putting in a lot of effort, she convinced Chang Mu to tell her about what inspired him to make the girl under the mooncake. There, Chang Mu explained that a year ago, when he was feeling lost, he met a girl holding roses. She was drunk and poured her heart out, mistaking Chang Mu for someone else. Si Hun listened carefully to his story. That night, Si Hun realized that Chang Mu's story seemed familiar, and her social media post about the girl and the cake under the moon got a lot of attention from her followers. The next day, Chang Yu, Si Hun, Chang Mu, and Jin Young met up. They planned to visit the exact location where Chang Mu's story took place. Si Hun was excited to go there. When she arrived, unexpectedly, Chang Mu was there too. He helped Si Hun by taking her to an empty room and carrying her suitcase to her room. When they got to the room, Chang Mu got distracted and saw Si Hun drinking, which reminded him of what happened a year ago. Later that evening, Chang Mu waited for Si Hun at the same spot as before and gave her a rose. This made Si Hun remember clearly what happened between them a year ago. She felt embarrassed, especially when Chang Mu confessed that he liked her. Soon after, they went back to the hotel. But Chang Mu teased Si Hun, making her almost fall. He quickly helped her, but Si Hun felt even more embarrassed and left abruptly, as did Chang Mu. Back in her room, Si Hun wonders if the girl under the mooncake was made because of her, but she's not sure. Meanwhile, Chang Mu's car breaks down in heavy rain. Si Hun gets worried and calls him, but the call disconnects suddenly. Worried about Chang Mu, she rushes to find him, fearing something bad might happen. In the heavy rain, Si Hun finally found Chang Mu, but he pretended to be asleep. Si Hun stayed with him until she fell asleep, and Chang Mu sweetly watched over her, covering her with a blanket. When Si Hun woke up the next morning, Chang Mu was gone. He had gone to get help and brought back food for her. Si Hun asked again if their story from a year ago inspired Chang Mu to make the girl under the mooncake that many people loved, and he indirectly confirmed that it did. The following day, Si Hun looked happy while holding the necklace Chang Mu had given her. But their story would remain a secret between them. Later, Si Hun met Chang Yu, who was pleased because Si Hun had successfully completed her task. The social media posts she made had a positive impact on the company. In another scene, Si Hun and Chang Mu both get a call from the airport. It turns out that Ru Ru, whom they both know well, is there alone. They're surprised and try to convince Ru Ru to go with each of them. At that time, Ru Ru chooses to go with Chang Mu and asks Si Hun to stay with them. It turns out Ru Ru is Si Hun's nephew, the son of Si Hun's older sister. That evening, 
Sihan calls her older sister to ask why she let Ru Ru fly alone. She finds out that her sister and her husband are fighting over Ru Ru's custody and don't want him to know. There, Sihan tries to reassure her sister that Ru Ru will be okay with her. The next day, Chang Mu takes Ru Ru to his restaurant and introduces her to his co-workers. But none of them want to help take care of Ru Ru, so Chang Mu has to do it himself. He tries to ask Ru Ru something, but he pretends to know what he's going to ask. Ru Ru thinks Chang Mu will ask about what food Sihan likes, so he tells that Sihan only eats instant noodles every day because she spends her money on cakes. Then, Ru Ru throws a tantrum and messes with Chang Mu's cake ingredients. In another part of the story, Ru Ru is having fun with Chang Mu. But Ru Ru ends up playing in the cold water, which worries Si Han. Upon knowing that, she tells them to come inside. Soon after, Jing Young visits Chang Mu's house and is surprised to see Si Han there, as she's the first woman Chang Mu has brought home. But Ru Ru doesn't like Jing Young, so Jing Young leaves a bit annoyed. At that time, Si Han tries to cook for Ru Ru, but he has a stomach ache after eating. Si Han panics and takes him to the hospital, feeling guilty. However, it's not the food Si Han made that caused the illness cause, it's the change in seasons. The nurses remind them to be careful with children. Suddenly, Chang Mu remembers something, but he hides his feelings from Si Han. In the hospital room, Chang Mu asks Si Han to live with him for Ru Ru's sake. Si Han is shocked but understands it's for Ru Ru's well-being. So she moves in with Chang Mu and Ru Ru. There they are greeted warmly, but Chang Mu seems nervous and rushes off to work. Ru Ru's mischief embarrasses them both. Later, Si Han and Ru Ru make Chang Mu's house more colorful and beautiful. On the flip side, Chang Mu was at work when one of his colleagues mentioned they had new competition. Hearing that, Chang Mu brushed it off casually, not bothered by it. However, his co-workers found it odd when he came home on time with a package of cakes, something he never did before. Then, when Chan Mu got home, he was surprised to find his house filled with dolls, and Ru Ru was happily playing with Si Hun. He had brought the cakes for Ru Ru and Si Hun. Si Hun really liked the cake and posted about it on social media. She also noticed a neatly stored rose, reminding her of the roses Chang Mu had given her before, which boosted her confidence. Meanwhile, Chang Mu was giving Ru Ru a bath, but Ru Ru mischievously kept splashing water at him. Si Han heard the commotion and took Ru Ru away, asking Chang Mu to clean up. Chang Mu then casually started undressing in front of Si Han, making her briefly imagine his attractive body before snapping back to reality. Soon after, Si Han had fallen asleep at the table. There, Chang Mu noticed and covered her with a blanket, then tidied up the roses. The next day, Si Han surprised Chang Mu by giving him a letter agreeing to live together, with some conditions he had to agree to. They both agreed, and Si Hund started preparing breakfast, even though it was hard work. Throughout the day, Si Hund and Ru Ru played happily, making Chang Mu smile when he saw them. The following day, Chang Mu watched a video of Si Hund and Ru Ru having fun, which made him smile. He had seen them on the CCTV he had installed at home. Si Hund, knowing about the CCTV, teased Chang Mu, surprising him. His co-workers were increasingly surprised by his behavior. At home, Si Hun was surprised by Chang Yu's arrival. Chang Yu was excited to learn that Chang Mu had invited Si Hun to live with him. Turns out, Chang Yu and Ru Ru were close and Ru Ru teased Si Hun about marrying Chang Mu. At that time, Chang Yu thought Chang Mu had ulterior motives for inviting Si Hun to live with him. But Si Hun assured Chang Yu that he didn't. Soon after, Chang Mu called Si Hun for help delivering some notes he had left behind. During their time together, Si Hun and Ru Ru had fun with Chang Mu. But then, Ru Ru accidentally put Chang Mu and Si Hun in a close position. That evening, Si Hun looked at the necklace Chang Mu gave her, while Chang Mu seemed lost in thought, playing with his phone. The next day, Si Hun and Ru Ru visited the restaurant. They learned about another shop making cakes, just like Chang Mu's. One of Chang Mu's co-workers accused Si Hun of leaking the recipe because she was the only other person who knew about their cake notes. Si Han denied it, feeling disappointed as she left. Meanwhile, Ru Ru told Chang Mu that in fights, men should give in. It started raining heavily and Si Han got soaked. Upon knowing that, Chang Mu quickly picked her up, but Si Han was still upset, because she didn't think she had leaked Chang Mu's notes. Eventually, she chose to leave and told Chang Mu not to follow, 
bringing back painful memories for him. At home, Changmu made breakfast because Si Hun wasn't there anymore. Ru Ru would stay with Jin Young while Changmu worked. In the restaurant, there were big changes. Hardly any customers came, which made them feel uninspired. At that time, Changmu was confident that Si Hun wouldn't do what his co-worker accused her of. Later, Changmu and Ru Ru were at home. Suddenly, Ru Ru wanted to eat special eggs made by Si Hun. They tried calling her, but she didn't answer. In the evening, Chang Yu visited but couldn't find Si Hun. Chang Mu worried about Si Hun, but he didn't want to show it in front of his sister. Soon after, Chang Mu rushed to Si Hun's house and found her sick. Then he took care of her, even though their relationship wasn't great. In that moment, Si Hun melted with Chang Mu's tenderness, even kissing him and touching him, which made her embarrassed when she realized it wasn't a dream. The next day, Si Hun went to a restaurant, which was suspected of copying Chang Mu's cake recipe. Surprisingly, the restaurant's owner turned out to be Mu Zhou, the class president whom Si Hun once liked. Meanwhile, Chang Mu's friend gave them information about where Si Hun was. This made Chang Mu believe that Si Hun leaked the recipe. Chang Mu found out and hurried to follow Si Hun. At the restaurant, Si Hun and Mu Zhou awkwardly chatted. Si Hun also asked about Mu Zhou's relationship with a girl named Li Mo. Turns out they're just friends. At that time, Mu Zhao seemed like he wanted to tell Si Hun something, but she interrupted. Chang Mu noticed their closeness, and Si Hun noticed him noticing. So, Chang Mu quickly joined them, pretending to be Si Hun's husband with a child waiting at home. Finally, Chang Mu took Si Hun away from the restaurant. Outside, they argued again about Mu Zhou's restaurant, copying the cake recipe. Si Hun still thought it might be a coincidence, but she was still mad at Chang Mu for suspecting her of spreading the recipe. She tried to leave, but Chang Mu stopped her. This made Si Hun happy, and they went back to Seoul restaurant to meet Ru Ru. At the restaurant, Ru Ru was very kind. He wanted them to live together again. Soon after, Si Hun had to leave, but then Ru Ru, who seemed to understand Si Hun and Chang Mu's feelings, encouraged Chang Mu to say something to Si Hun before she left. At home, Si Hun just finished talking to her older sister when she looked at a necklace. Meanwhile, Chang Mu was trying to find a way to persuade his angry girlfriend, but his idea from Google was terrible. Finally, he decided to ask for advice from an account on social media, which happened to be Si Hun's. Shortly after, Chang Mu sent a video of Ru Ru missing his parents, so he asked Si Hun to come to Seoul to accompany Ru Ru. The next day, Si Hun came to Seoul's restaurant, and they got along really well again, making Ru Ru happy while baking cakes together. They even took photos together to remember the moment. Afterward, Si Hun went back to Chang Mu's house to live there. When they entered, she was delighted to see the cute sandals prepared for them. Si Hun got thirsty, and Chang Mu seemed drawn to her. In the evening, Si Hun got a confusing message from her older sister, asking her to ask Ru Ru who he would choose between his parents. Si Hun couldn't bring herself to ask Ru Ru. Later, she went into Chang Mu's room to turn off the lights, but he ended up having a nightmare. Si Hun comforted him realizing he never turns off the lights when he sleeps. The next morning, Si Hun checked on Chang Mu, who was okay. Then she asked if she could take Ru Ru out. She wanted to go to Mu Zhou's sweet restaurant. Seeing Si Hun so happy made Chang Mu upset. He wondered if meeting Mu Zhou was really that enjoyable. At that moment, Si Hun and Mu Zhou were playing with Ru Ru. Si Hun asked about the cake from sweet restaurant, which flipped just like Saul's. She even tasted it and found that not only did it look the same, but it also tasted almost identical. However, Mu Zhou didn't actually copy or cheat with the cake. Meanwhile, Chang Mu got annoyed when he accidentally cut the lemon carelessly. Later, when Si Hun remembered something about Chang Mu's cake recipe, something happened to Ru Ru. Then she quickly called Chang Mu to update him on Ru Ru's condition. Upon hearing that, Chang Mu hurried to the hospital, looking very worried. But he didn't like it when the doctor referred to Si Hun and Mu Zhou as Ru Ru's parents. Eventually, they all went home together. However, Chang Mu seemed to really dislike Mu Zhou. He even made Mu Zhou see how close he was to Si Hun. On the way home, Chang Mu became jealous again of their closeness, to the point where Si Hun didn't want to talk to him. At that moment, Si Hun found Chang Mu coming home drunk. Suddenly, Chang Mu approached Si Hun and grabbed her shirt buttons, which surprised her but it turned out he just wanted to help button her shirt. However, he then unexpectedly kissed Si Hun, and for a moment, she got carried away. But she soon realized and left Chang Mu. 
This incident left Si Hun feeling embarrassed. The next day, Si Hun and Shan Mu felt awkward and embarrassed because of what happened the previous night. At Saul's restaurant, it was finally revealed who leaked the cake recipe. It was Bai Ben who made the cake for his girlfriend and explained it in detail. He tried to take responsibility and investigate the matter. Meanwhile, Chang Yu was about to be harassed by her co-workers, but Jin Yum managed to save her. When they got home, Jin Yum felt guilty for being rude to Chang Yu. However, Chang Yu kissed him because she missed him. They almost enjoyed the night together, but Chang Mu's presence interrupted them. Meanwhile, Si Hun was really upset because Chang Mu didn't come home. She even found herself talking to the necklace Chang Mu gave her and almost throwing it away. It turned out Chang Mu stayed overnight at Chang Yu's house because he had kissed Si Hun that night. Chang Yu, knowing what happened, advised Chang Mu to be honest about his feelings. The next day, Chang Mu came home and saw Si Hun sitting in the living room. The atmosphere was still tense, so Chang Mu stayed quiet while Si Hun went to the study room to avoid him. In there, she messaged an account called Gods, unsure if it belonged to Chang Mu. She asked about what happened between them, but there was no clear response. The account suggested that the man definitely liked the woman he kissed, but Si Hun didn't fully believe it because Chang Mu rarely smiled at her. From then on, Chang Mu started smiling a lot, which made Si Hun suspicious. Even Ru Ru noticed Chang Mu's forced smile. Later, Si Hun asked a question that triggered bad memories for Chang Mu cause about the difference in love between parents and choosing between them. Unintentionally, he left his phone in front of Si Hun. And after that, Si Hun sent a message to someone called Gods. The notification popped up on Chang Mu's phone, revealing that he had been the one messaging her all along. Si Hun felt silent for a moment, but also happy knowing that Chang Mu liked her. However, she couldn't help but feel frustrated realizing how her actions didn't maintain her image well. While learning to cook, she even imagined Chang Mu approaching her and kissing her. Later, at Saw Restaurant, Bai Bin wanted to quit because it was true that his girlfriend gave the cake recipe to Sweet Restaurant. At that time, Bai Bin felt guilty, but Chang Mu encouraged him to stay at Saul Restaurant. The scene shifted. At home, Chang Mu, Si Hun, and Rui Ru were having dinner together. There, Si Hun still felt awkward, and Chang Mu revealed who leaked his restaurant's cake recipe. After dinner, Si Hun tried to show how hardworking she was, but Ru Ru interrupted. Then, Si Hun teased Chang Mu by wearing revealing clothes and insisted on helping him tidy up, which led to them accidentally falling with Si Hun on top of Chang Mu. Ru Ru almost saw what happened, but Chang Yu and Jin Yang managed to distract him. Si Hun and Chang Mu felt embarrassed and awkward. At that moment, Chang Mu came home from work and found Si Hun asleep in the study room. He covered her up and got a bit mad when he saw that Si Hun had written an article about cakes from Sweet Restaurant. The next day, Si Hun went to Saul Restaurant to try their new cake. She found something unique about its taste and kept glancing at Chang Mu, which made him smile. Soon after, Chang Mu approached her and Si Hun asked about the cake story, trying to charm him until he agreed to let her continue writing articles as usual. With her persuasive ways, she got Chang Mu to share the cake story, but it revealed his jealousy, making him embarrassed. In another scene, Si Hun hung out with her old friends, including Mu Zhou. They chatted, and Si Hun drank a lot, getting drunk. Mu Zhou wanted to confess his feelings, but Si Hun already liked Chang Mu, even if she answered him while intoxicated. Shortly after, Chang Mu picked up Si Hun. At that time, she felt dizzy in the car, so Chang Mu carried her home. In her drunken state, Si Hun told Chang Mu that she knew he liked her. When Chang Mu asked if she liked him too, Si Hun passed out. The next day, Si Hun acted very cute, pretending someone was in front of her. Unknowingly, Chang Mu and Ru Ru saw her behavior. Later, they went out to meet Ru Ru. While they were sitting together, a girl tried to approach Chang Mu. Quick thinking, Ru Ru pretended Chang Mu and Si Hun were his parents, making Si Hun jealous. Then she gave Chang Mu a gift to save him from being teased by other girls, and Ru Ru looked adorable when receiving the same gift. Shortly after, Si Hun got a message from her older sister saying Ru Ru would have to return with her, making Si Hun sad. On way home, Chang Mu looked at the gift Si Hun gave him, and she asked if she could come to his restaurant to learn more about making sweet cakes. Chang Mu agreed. On the flip side, Si Hun meets Chang Yu. They chat about Si Hun's work, and Chang Yu always shows concern for Chang Mu and Si Hun, asking about their relationship progress. 
At Saul Restaurant, Sihan starts learning to bake cakes with Changmu, and they seem really happy. Then, they head home. Changmu keeps an eye on Sihan as she focuses on her article. It turns out she's writing about their day, and they both end up blushing. In another scene, Changyu is with Jin Yam at his house. Once again, Changmu interrupts their intimate moment, leaving them embarrassed. They quickly change the subject to discuss Changmu and Sihan's relationship. Later, Changmu goes home and prepares lots of candles to watch a movie with Sihan. They still seem awkward, but Sihan starts feeling confident that Changmu will confess his feelings. She imagines romantic moments between them. In reality, Sihan gets annoyed because Changmu can't decide on a movie, ruining the atmosphere. Shortly after, Ru Ru suddenly screamed in fear from a bad dream, feeling like a burden to his parents. This brought back traumatic memories for Changmu who had been mistreated by his own mother in the past. After Changmu's mental health improved, he returned to Ru Ru's room with Sihan. They both knew Ru Ru would soon return to his parents since their relationship had improved, but Sihan looked sad to part with him. The next day, Ru Ru had breakfast with Changmu, and he acted as a mediator to help Changmu and Sihan start dating. Though his words weren't exactly what Changmu and Sihan wanted to hear, Ru Ru's efforts successfully led to them dating. Finally, Changmu and Sihan went on their first date, starting at the archery range where Changmu taught Sihan. Turns out, practicing archery brought them closer together. Changmu also taught Sihan boxing, which confused her thinking, is this what dating like? Later, Changmu took her to the beach, singing a song for her. In the evening, they had dinner together, and he wanted to say something to Sihan, but suddenly the lights went out. Finally, Sihan gathered the courage to ask Changmu to talk. Changmu expressed how happy he was with Sihan and hoped she could understand him better. However, Sihan hoped Changmu would confess his love to her. Since things didn't go as expected, she quickly suggested they go pick up Riru. Later, Sihan received a call from her mother. She had been lying to her parents about her job as a food vlogger because they didn't approve. However, she loved her job and explained to Changmu why, showing him her posts. Then suddenly, they got so caught up that they didn't realize how close they were and Sihan's nose touched Changmu's cheek. When they got home, Sihan felt sad to part with Ru Ru, and Changmu felt the same. The next day, Ru Ri asked about Changmu and Sihan dating. He felt annoyed because Changmu hadn't cleaned up yet, even though he was about to leave. Changmu tried to explain that expressing love isn't easy. At the same time, Sihan didn't leave the house that day, and Ru Ru understood she was upset. So he tried to convince her to go out with him. Finally, they went for a walk, looking very happy together. Ru Ru cleverly made Si Hun and Chang Mu touch each other repeatedly. Later, Si Hun and Chang Mu packed Ru Ru's things. Unexpectedly, Ru Ru expressed his hope to play with his future sibling when he returns. This made Si Hun laugh, and Chang Mu was surprised by his nephew's words. When Ru Ru left, Si Hun and Chang Mu packed his toys, feeling sad and missing him. Si Hun had to leave too, now that Ru Ru was gone. However, Changmu wanted her to stay. Misunderstandings arose because Changmu thought Sihan didn't want to live with him anymore, while Sihan thought Changmu was pushing her away. At that time, Sihan reached out to her older sister to ask about Ru Ru, who also inquired about Sihan's relationship with Changmu. Her sister suggested that Sihan distance herself from Changmu to see if he'd miss her, proving his true feelings. At Saul Restaurant, Changmu seemed burdened, even feeling dissatisfied with the cakes he made. This continued at home, where he lacked the courage to meet Sihan, who was waiting for him to show care. The next day, Sihan found breakfast with a note from Changmu, saying he had to leave for business. This frustrated Sihan further, especially with the issue of Changmu leaving first. Shortly after, she noticed Changmu's notebook on the table. Curious, she read it and discovered that each cake he made had its own story, including their own story together. Afterward, Sihan went to see Changyu. She asked if Changmu really liked her and why he never expressed his feelings. Changyu reassured Sihan that Changmu did like her, but needed time to express it. Meanwhile, Changmu visited a place where he met friends, each dealing with their own struggles. In another scene, Sihan found herself in a beautiful place, unexpectedly encountering Muzo. Back in her room, she felt very sad about her situation and confided in Changyu expressing her intention to move out of Changmu's house. Soon after, Changyu and Jin Young met Sihan. 
Chang Yu revealed that Chang Mu was suffering from depression and excessive panic disorder. Learning this saddened Si Hun, as she realized why Chang Mu hadn't expressed his feelings for her. In another moment, Si Hun encounters Mu Zhou again. They reminisce about a year ago, when Si Hun wanted to confess her love to Mu Zhou, but decided against it upon learning Mu Zhou's plans to leave the country. Si Hun also expresses admiration for Chang Mu, which makes Mu Zhao regret not noticing Si Hun's feelings before. At that time, they both hoped for a happy future. Meanwhile, Chang Mu meets with his doctor, requesting a reduction in his medication due to recent changes. Afterward, he contacts his older sister, expressing his desire for a normal life and sharing that he's improving. Chang Yu, upon hearing this, is overjoyed, feeling moved as Chang Mu is her only family. Later, Chang Mu rushes home to meet Si Hun, who is also trying to meet him. However, upon arriving home, Chang Mu finds Si Hun's room empty, unaware that she has left the house. He quickly contacts her to inquire about her whereabouts. Upon realizing, Chang Mu hurried back to Si Hun. When they finally met, Chang Mu was about to express his feelings, but Si Hun anticipated it and kissed him first. From that moment, they became a couple and went home together. Despite feeling awkward at first, they gradually grew closer. Si Hun even sat on Chang Mu's lap, and they shared intimate kisses. During a work discussion with Chang Yu, Chang Mu faithfully accompanied Si Hun. At that time, Chang Yu was surprised by Si Hun's influence on her little brother and curious about their new romantic relationship, which made them both awkward. Later, they visited Seoul restaurant where Chang Mu's colleagues were surprised to see them holding hands. Chang Mu proudly displayed their affection in front of his co-workers. In the evening, back home, Si Hun wasn't feeling well and became quite dependent on her boyfriend. Despite this, she still teased Chang Mu, who found himself tempted by her. The following day, Si Hun received a surprising call from her mother, informing her that both her parents were planning to visit. This news sent Si Hun into a panic, prompting Chang Mu to inquire about her distress. Si Hun explained about her parents' impending visit, but Chang Mu reassured her that everything would be all right. Shortly after, Si Hun's parents arrived at Chang Mu's home, eager to discuss something with him. Chang Mu graciously attended to them, revealing that he was merely a close friend of Si Hun's sister's husband, akin to brothers. However, Si Hun suddenly declared Chang Mu as her boyfriend, leaving him stunned, along with her shocked parents. To ease the situation, Chang Mu clarified that they slept in separate rooms despite living together. Surprisingly, Si Hun's parents seemed to approve of their relationship. Soon after, Si Hun's father took him aside for a chat, while her mother engaged in conversation with Chang Mu. Si Hun's father focused on her job, unaware that she had been lying about it due to fear of revealing she was a food vlogger. Chang Mu deftly diffused the tension by suggesting Si Hun go to work, thus salvaging the situation. Meanwhile, Si Hun's parents were tidying up at Chang Wu's house. By chance, Si Hun's mother stumbled upon depression medication, sparking concern for her daughter's well-being. However, she mistakenly assumed the medication belonged to Chang Mu. During this time, Si Hun met with Chang Yu, feeling sad as she shared her feeling of lying to her parents about her job. Surprisingly, Chang Yu took the initiative to suggest a family dinner and meeting between the two families. In the evening, they gathered for dinner as planned. Si Hun's parents appeared to genuinely accept Chang Mu and Chang Yu. After dinner, Si Hun's mother approached Chang Yu to ask about Chang Mu's depression. Fortunately, there were no objections from Si Hun's mother, who simply left a message for Chang Yu to take good care of Si Hun. On the flip side, Jin Young was deeply focused on playing games when suddenly there was a knock on his door. It was Chang Yu, and she came in pretty aggressively, kissing Jin Young nonstop. This led to them spending the evening together once again. Afterward, Jing Young put a ring on Chang Yu's finger to show he wanted their relationship to be more serious. But Chang Yu turned him down. She still wanted to keep their relationship secret because she was worried about Chang Mu feeling lonely. She didn't want him to feel left out since he and Si Hun might not stay together forever. Jing Young was really disappointed to hear this. This made Jing Young really upset. He ended up hitting Chang Mu when he was drunk, thinking Chang Mu was him and Chang Yu couldn't find true happiness and freedom. Eventually, Chang Mu ran into his older sister looking upset. Chang Yu got worried seeing Chang Mu's bruised face caused by Jin Young. Chang Mu supported his sister to find happiness and not worry too much. Their bond is very sweet, showing how much they care about each other. Later, Chang Mu headed home. Not much later, Si Hunt suddenly woke up and found Chang Mu sitting alone. 
Seeing the bruises on Chang Wu's face, Si Han got really worried. But Chang Mu quickly reassured him. He really needed Si Han's hug at that moment, asking Si Han to stay with him. The next morning, Si Han got up and greeted her parents, not realizing she came out of Chang Wu's room. It was Si Han's parents who noticed first. Si Han tried to explain, but her dad was already angry with her. Meanwhile, Jing Young, just awake, got lots of messages from his fans, congratulating him. Turns out, Chang Yu had already made their relationship public. Jing Young was really happy about it, but felt guilty for hitting Chang Mu. At Salt Restaurant, Chang Mu gets a call from Si Han. At that time, Si Han seemed a bit annoyed because Chang Mu forgot to wake her up, which led to their parents finding out they had slept over together. To add to it, Jing Young showed up to apologize to Chang Mu. At first, Chang Mu was cold towards him, but they eventually patched things up on the beach after Jing Young explained everything. The next day, Chang Mu and Si Han were strolling in the park when they spotted Si Han's parents returning from shopping. Seeing them made Si Han realize that his parents were getting older. After returning home, Si Han gathered the courage to honestly talk to his parents about his job. At first, Si Han's confession made his father angry, but it turned out his parents already knew the truth. Before this, Si Han's father had asked Chang Mu for the truth, and Chang Mu managed to make him understand. Things got better, and Si Han's parents even gave him a gift. The closeness of the family deeply moved Chang Mu. They then had dinner together, and in that moment, Chang Mu felt the true warmth of family. During that time, Chang Mu thanked Si Han for giving him the warmth of family. His gratitude wasn't just in words, cause he planned to express it by baking cakes. Si Han, in turn, thanked Chang Mu for his kindness and planted a kiss on his cheek. The next day, Si Han wrote an article about Chang Mu's latest cake creation. Her words were as beautiful as the cake itself. Meanwhile, Chang Mu received a voice message from Si Han. There, Si Han playfully teased him, causing Chang Mu to move away from his co-workers to respond. Later, when Chang Mu was at home, Si Han surprised him with a white rose. This gesture reminded him of a memory from a year ago, leaving Si Han speechless. However, Chang Mu brushed it off as a joke. He also playfully asked Si Han to write a love letter for him, but none of her attempts were accepted by Chang Mu. Si Han teased him back, suggesting he was jealous. A while later, Si Han was busy writing an article when Baibin got some bad news about their restaurant's reputation being targeted by an account. Chang Yu got wind of this and immediately tried to handle the situation. In the evening, Si Hunt tasted the cake made by Chang Mu. She loved it, though she didn't notice it was a bit messy. She then offered some to Chang Mu, who instead playfully licked the cream off her lips, leaving Si Hunt stunned. The next day, false rumors about Saul Restaurant spread even more on social media. A vlogger even started gossiping about Chang Yu, Chang Mu, Si Hunt, and Jing Yang. Chang Yu was furious and wondering who could be behind all this. To make matters worse, netizens began attacking Saul Restaurant and one comment triggered Chang Mu's illness again. Meanwhile, Chang Yu, Jing Young, and Si Han were really worried about Chang Mu. His phone was unreachable, and they had no idea where he was or how he was doing. Finally, Si Han decides to head to the beach to find Chang Mu, bringing back memories from a year ago. And there he was, sitting by the shore. Si Han, upon finding him, tried to cheer him up, reminding him that he wasn't alone, and that there were people who cared about him. Her efforts paid off as Chang Mu smiled again, and she hugged him tightly. Later, Si Han and Chang Mu ran into Chang Yu. She seemed really concerned about Chang Mu's well-being. Chang Mu apologized for causing his sister to worry. Si Han and Jin Young witnessed firsthand the warmth between the siblings. The next day, Chang Yu and Jing confronted the person spreading fake news about Saul Restaurant on social media. They managed to make him realize his mistake and promise not to do it again. At that moment, Si Han told Chang Mu that his parents were really worried about him after seeing the news on social media, and her own parents sent a video to reassure Chang Mu. In the video, Si Han's parents showed their love and concern for Chang Mu. After watching it, Si Han encouraged Chang Mu again, promising to be by his side forever. That night was filled with love for the two of them. Meanwhile, Chang Yu suddenly felt sick. She asked Jin Young to get her a test and it confirmed she was pregnant with their child. Jin Young was overjoyed and ready to marry Chang Yu any time. At that time, Chang Yu wasted no time and proposed to Jin Young. In another scene, Chang Mu just woke up to find Si Hun had prepared breakfast for him, 
even though she didn't actually cook it herself. He appreciated her efforts and enjoyed a morning of being pampered by Sihan. Later, they went to Saul restaurant together. There, they were warmly greeted by Chang Mu's colleague. At that time, Chang Mu bravely went live to set the record straight about the rumors surrounding him and his restaurant. Afterwards, Si Han and Chang Mu had a great time together, enjoying the evening at the beach and looking very happy. As the morning sun rose, Chang Mu proposed to Si Han, and without hesitation, she said yes. A little while later, Chang Mu's co workers gathered outside Seoul Restaurant. Soon after, Si Han and Chang Mu joined them. Suddenly, Ru Ru returned to visit her adoptive father and aunt because her parents were fighting again. Finally, they were all reunited, like a complete family. The series ends. The moral lesson from this series is when life throws you lemons, just make sure they're not the ones smeared on your face before proposing at sunrise because love's a beach, and sometimes it's sandy messy boo, so worth it.